Yes, good morning. I have this new kilowatt meter that uh, is very accurate. It has a few more features on it, and I want to do a kilowatt meter study. Uh, let's see what we're going to do. I'm going to plug appliances into a cord that's plugged into the kilowatt meter, and we'll see what they register, and we'll see what the phantom power is. First, we have to get it to uh, volts. It's at kilowatt. Let's see. at volts, now it's at PF, now it's at Hertz, now it's at volt amps, now it's at watts. That's the key, the, that's the, the key setting we want. Okay. We have a Sony stereo receiver. The kilowatt meter reads 29.3. I'm going to record that. 29.3. Now I'm going to turn it off and see if there's any phantom power. On off position it takes nothing. There's no phantom power on that. Next one. Yes, now we have a Sony DVD VCR combo. It's plugged in. I plugged into the meter. It's showing 10.2 watts. Let's see how much on standby. It's showing 6.1 watts on standby which is quite a lot. Yes, now we have a Sony dual cassette deck. It's showing 6.1 watts. Let's see how much on standby. Even though it's off. It's showing no watts. Yes, now we got a Techniques jukebox. A 60 CD jukebox, something like that. It's showing 7.2 watts. Let's see how much on standby. Yes, the Techniques uh, 50 CD jukebox takes 3.2 watts on standby, which is quite a lot. Yes, we have a HP 17 inch screen laptop and it's showing 28.6 watts. Let's see how much on standby. The computer is plugged in, it's off, it's showing 0 watts, nothing on standby. No phantom power. Yes, we have a Vizio 19 inch uh, LCD TV and it only draws 17.6 watts. Let's see how much on standby. It's showing zero watts. Uh, Vizio has a way of not taking power on standby, which is very cool. Yes, we have Altag Glancing computer speakers is showing 2.5 watts of power. Let's see how much on standby. The computer speakers are plugged in. Uh, the switch on the speakers are off. It's still showing 2.5 watts of power. Quite a lot. Yes, now we have a Sony clock radio. It's plugged in. The radio's on. It's not at full volume. It's showing 1.9 watts of power, which isn't a lot. That's always going to be on, so standby power does not apply. 
Yes, now we have a Timex alarm clock. It draws about 1 watt, 1.1 watt. It fluctuates. Uh, it's on all the time. Phantom power does not apply. Yes, we have a Lakewood 20 inch box fan. It's showing 193 watts of power on high. Yes, the 20 inch Lakewood box fan is showing 95 watts of power on medium. On low, it shows 66.8 watts. Yes, we have a GE toaster and it's showing 775 watts of power when it's, uh, the, it's on. The same toaster is showing zero watts on standby. Yes, next we got a toaster convection oven, a small one on the countertop. It's at, set at 400 degrees and it's showing 1236 watts of power. Toaster oven is showing zero watts on standby. Yes, now we have a Lasco box fan on high. It's showing 167 watts of power. Yes, now we have a Lasco 20 inch box fan. It's showing 170 watts of power on high. The same Lasco box fan is showing 117 watts of power on medium. Our box fan shows 84 watts of power on, at low. Yes, we have an HP computer tower and it's saying 45.6 watts of power when it's on. Yes, the HP tower is showing 1 point watts of power on standby. Yes, we have a Hewlett Packard 3-in-1 uh, printer, copier, scanner. It's showing 20 watts of power when it's on. It fluctuates about 18 watts. Let's see how much on standby. Yes, the same Hewlett Packard 3-in-1 printer, copier, scanner is showing 6.6 .6 watts of power in off position. That's why you should use power strips. Yes, we have a sharp 17 inch TV computer monitor. It's a combination unit. It's it the uh, watts is fluctuating basically about 125 watts of power. Let's see how much when it's off. Basically the sharp uh, computer monitor TV is showing about one watts of power on standby. It is plugged in, it is off, and it's drawing power. Yes, we have a 15 inch ViewSonic LCD computer monitor. It's showing only 12.6 watts of power when it's on, when the computer's on. Let's see how much on standby. The 15 inch LCD monitor is plugged in, the switch is off, showing zero watts of power. Now we got a GE microwave with twin magnetrons on boiling water. Let's see how many watts. It says 1316 watts of power. 1320, it fluctuates. The microwave takes 2.1 watts of power on standby. And the previous, when it was cooking, it was on high. It was taking about 1320 watts. It was on high. 2.1 watts on standby. It's plugged in all the time. has to be plugged in but it's not that much. Yes, we have a Pantech uh, phone, phone in that gets computer plugged into a charger. It's saying 1.8 watts of power. 2.1, it fluctuates. When the cell phone is not uh, plugged into the charger, it's showing zero watts of power, although some still draw watts. Now we got a Motorola cell phone. It's saying 5.1 watts of power when it's charging. Now the cell phone charger is plugged in and not into the phone. It's on standby. It's taking 1.3 watts of power. That would be 24-7. That's why we should unplug it. Yes, we have a Radio Shack high definition antenna for a TV without cable and it's showing 2.6 watts of power when it's on. It's showing the same 2.6 watts of power when it's on standby. That would be 24-7. Yes, we got a GE phone answering machine. It takes 2.8 watts of power and that has to be on 24-7. Thank you. 
Yes, we got a GE clock radio. It's taking 1.7 watts of power. Let's see how much when the radio's on. It's taking 2.0 watts of power. The 1.7 would basically be 24-7. Yes, we have a Kitty brand carbon monoxide detector, and let's see how much it draws. It's 0.9 watts. That has to be plugged in 24-7. That's pretty much the deal. Yes, we have an Omnitech paper shredder. It's showing 256 watts when it's shredding. It's also showing 0 watts when it's still plugged in. No power on standby. Yes, we have a Hewlett Packard 4-in-1 and we're printing right now and it's taking about 36 watts of power. It flux fluctuating. It's basically, it's taking about 30 watts of power when it's uh, doing a function. And we'll check on standby. The Hewlett Packard 4-in-1 is plugged in it, the switch is off and it's drawing about 6 watts of power uh, because it doesn't have a surge protector. And we got about 6.5. We have an ATMT DSL modem. It's taking about 5.7 watts of power when it's plugged in. Uh, there's no off switch on it. So a standby would take that too. Yes, we have a 17-inch Mag Innovations LCD computer monitor. It's saying 28.1 watts of power on on position. On off position, it's showing 0 watts of power. We have Sony computer speakers. They're saying 2.2 watts of power when they're on. When they're off, it says 1.8 watts of power.